Hello everybody, Grace Two Plays, and we're back with more My Little Blacksmith Shop. So there was just another update on top of this update. It fixed a bunch of stuff, which I'm super happy about. It also got rid of, I think it's in options. Yes. Oh, the rain. I hate the rain. Actually, I really like the music though. I'm going to put it up a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Right about, right about there. Yeah. I don't know what it is about this music. It's very soothing. So now we can turn off the rain, which I'm really happy about because the rain was just like really, really foggy. Like, I guess it's cool, but I don't know. The water has changed to oil. Whether or not this is accurately representative of what real blacksmithing is, uh, you guys can let me know. I saw there's a couple of real blacksmiths in the comment section, so that's sweet. Also, big fix. The uh, ingots that you use now don't all turn into copper, which is really big. And one of the things I've done is I've made some money. If we go over here real quick to our sheet of power, you can see I've been churning out a couple of iron things. There's a reason why I wanted to make an iron pickaxe so we can try and do more mining. The developer mentioned that how we have a copper right now is one of our hammers. The, it seems like you'll eventually need the hammer to be equal or better to the metal that you're working with, which sucks because that means that we're going to have to make like an epic hammer. Well, it's, that doesn't suck, but it's just going to take some money. But right now it doesn't seem to work that way. So... Charisma works really good right now. 1% per charisma point, so I put all my points in charisma. So you can see, on a $35,000, whatever the hell this was, I don't know. Oh, it's an iron grade hammer. We made an extra 2100 bucks from the charisma alone, and then 600 bucks from the rush bonus. So the charisma is getting close to the parts markup, which I'm really happy about. Oh, other thing too, and I'm glad that the developer showed this. As a matter of fact, you know what? We're going to make a pickaxe real quick. I'm going to make an iron one. I hope that I find some iron ore. Because I don't think that we can... Uh, oh, you know what? We're going to need three iron chunks for this. Let me get one more. There we have it. Is that the ore, I guess, refreshes every 23 in-game hours. So the big thing I don't know, though, is if that means that... It will refresh only if you pick it, or it will refresh, like, even if you don't pick it. So if you went there one day and there was an iron node, it would turn into, like, a copper node, even if you didn't do anything with it. All right, let's go ahead and take our iron. The other thing that I want to show you guys is the stats. You can... Where the hell? Oh, you went over here. You can add stats now to the items, which is freaking sweet. So real quick, let's go over here. We're going to go over to axes, and we're going to go ahead and axe this thing a question right over here. And on the boom shakalaka sixth one, it's going to turn into an axe head, and let's turn it into a mining pick. Now, once you have your mining pick, if you hold down shift and left click, look at this. We got a little mini game. Hold on. Uh, right there. Maximum quality. I'm pretty sure that was maximum quality. So now we have a plus 30 quality. You can grab your thing. Now, everything starts at zero for the stats, and then if you hold or press CTRL, control, I, I don't know why I call it CTRL. You can see that it has damage, control, protection, and then quality. Very interesting. Um, you guys were saying try to utilize a sword, like pick up a sword. I can't pick up anything else. You can pick up pickaxes and stuff like that. And you can pick up axes and you can pick up hammers, but I can't seem to pick up a sword. Oh, wow. We are completely out of two-handed grips. Um, I'm gonna need to buy more of those anyway. I think I'm gonna buy like maybe 10 of them or something like that. From what I've seen, you wanna keep, there, there's like fancy ones too, but the only issue is you don't really get a whole lot extra for the fancy stuff. Like you get a little bit, I guess, but it's, it's not very much at all. Uh, it comes out to dollars and when you're making tens of thousands of dollars, it feels kind of inadequate almost. What I'm doing right now, you boys can see I cleaned up, I cleaned up the shop a little bit. It's a pain in the ass, but I'm getting her done. I'm just kind of keeping my grips over here for right now. I'm thinking about moving the grips onto the shelves. The only issue is, is that these guards, it's horrible putting them on the shelves. Like, they freaking flip out all over the place. And I am fantastic at making crap flip all over the place. I know I saw some comments on one of my Stranded Deep videos because I, I got scared by some object that was flying through the stratosphere. And I was like, what was that? I thought it was like maybe a shark or a fish, or an alien or something, and someone was like, that was a stick, Gray. 
And I was like, how does this happen? And I'm going to tell you what, how it happens. Because the sticks and all kinds of random crap in these games love to just break sound barriers and do all kinds of inappropriate things to me. That sounded bad. Let's go over here and come on, get on there. You know what to do. You know what to do. Now, when we press the E button or not, that was odd. Hold on. Can I go? How do I get rid of the pickaxe I currently? There we go. Okay. So I had to go to pickaxe and then press E on the pickaxe. Now, one thing to notice here is our old copper pickaxe is gone. So that's a problem. Uh, because that means that, like, let's say you ever want to, like, sell it, because you can sell, although I, people have not been buying the pickaxes, you can leave stuff on the counter like this, and people will just take it, which is kind of sweet. People have not been taking the pickaxes, which I'm a little worried about. And this knight, you guys were saying, like, maybe you can duel the knight and stuff like that? I don't know. I can't click on them. Uh, with a left or a right click, I can E, I can press E and I kind of like do a little jive right there. We'll try the axe, we'll try the hammer. Yeah, nothing like that works. And then nothing else I can do allows us to click on them. But you guys are right. Maybe they're here for like impending, uh, like impending invasions. Actually, that would be really neat. Like, you know how typically you're the warrior, right? And, you know, stuff invades and you fight it off. Well, it would be cool if we're the blacksmith and all of the stats that we make affects the overall town and how well it can get rid of enemies and stuff like that. That would be pretty cool because you don't really get to see that too much. This barrel, can I lift you? No, I can't. I need your crate again, sir. Pardon. Thank you. You're not going to charge me for it, are you? I hate that this is like the only crate around. We need more crates. There's also like a giant gleaming thing if you see like a little sun shaft over there. I wonder what that is. We haven't really gone around the entire map. So the other thing that I'd like to do today, besides doing a little bit of mining, is to go and check the rest of the map out and just... Oh, jeez. You know what? I shouldn't have even brought this in here. I don't know why I did, because it's just going to go flipping around. Check the rest of the map. You guys were given suggestions on our horse name as well. And I saw a bunch of suggestions like Bob, Pepe. Uh, I saw what it was like. Galliantis or something like that? that was, that's like super Stargate-ish. I kind of like that. Someone had mentioned, and you know what? When I heard it, I was like, you're totally right. Tron. Tron for the horse. It kind of makes sense because this horse is like the glowiest horse in the universe. If I drop this, actually, you know what? I'm going to put it down here. I was going to say, if I drop that in there and I go to sleep, is it going to cause me to... Is it going to, like, teleport back to the other guy's place? Oh, apparently you can only sleep during the night. So I wonder if we'll be able to... Because sometimes if you're tired, you can't do anything. But we'll give it a shot. All right, horse. Come with me. You're going to come with me. I don't know why, because you're kind of useless when it comes to mining. He can't go into the mine, which is kind of annoying. But if I want to chop down some trees, I certainly can. So the fact that our pickaxe matters about what we can mine and our hammer will eventually matter about what we can craft i'm wondering what the regular axe will do because right now obviously we just have a copper axe we could chop you down the trees in there have you make PETA all angry wait a second PETA, do they care about trees or is it just animals oh my my lack of knowledge of that group is sorely sorely lacking uh wait that's a double negative anyway the point is is that I don't know what'll happen or what ah that's so weird like whenever you get to the mine here it's like a different zone or something like that like you teleport it's really weird I think that's why the horse can't follow us hold on hold oh god all right hold on now box let me no stop stop driving that way oh is it because I have to walk further in what is with you box how could there we go okay or I'll just throw it to the ground no big deal how about you do your thing with the lid facing upward there we have it Gray still manipulates boxes. It just takes a long ass time. Come on, Tron. In the movies, all the Tron people are super fast. How come you're so slow? There we go. Now, how close can you get into the mine fully before it didn't seem like you could get into the mine? Oh, hold on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. I got apples in there, have you? I don't know what a Tron horse, a Tron horse eats. Um, maybe like batteries. 
or glow sticks probably glow sticks all right so he's gonna sit out there so we got to do this ourselves that's no big deal I'm pretty used to having to do this all by our lonesome you guys were saying too the glowy things I don't think we can we can mine the glowy things you definitely cannot mine the glowy thing um, I'm trying to hit it nothing's happening to that is that a rock on the ground that we can pick up nope just an ornamental rock just an ornamental rock all right now what sort of delicious bounties do you have in here? Oh, that looks like so a fancy ore vein. Oh, it's mithril. Oh, man. I can't get that one because it's mithril. Okay. Ooh, iron. Okay, this is exactly... Okay. So we do have an iron vein. That's awesome because each iron chunk that we get is going to be $10,000, essentially, that we did not have to get the old-fashioned way. There are some cool veins in here. Copper over here. I see another one over there. Oh, there's an adelite one. If we could have more iron, I would be really happy about that. Okay, so a ton of copper. Like, a ton of copper. So let's go over here to the iron vein. Yeah, see, when I click on this one... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at all this iron. Oh, and, and a regular stone? What do you do with a regular stone? It's 100%. Like, can I hit it or anything? I can't hit it or anything. That's odd. All right, we're going to check that out in a little bit. First, though, let me go ahead and mine the rest of this. We're going to put it in our box and then see what these stones mean. Oh, and I'll mention, too, the crystals still don't save uh, to your location. Now, there is one crystal that we have back at our place, and the developer did mention that he was going to make it so that the crystals do things. So, I'm going to go ahead... I'm gonna go ahead and mine all this, like everything that we can, because like I said, I don't know if it resets, so I'm gonna try and get rid of all these veins. Plus, you know what? We may grab the copper and bring it back. But when we get back to our shop, what I'm gonna do is check the um the one crystal that we have there. We'll see if we can we'll see if we can do anything with it. Now what the stones are good for. You put it on top of the iron so the iron doesn't go flying out. Holy crap though, it is really, really hard. To get oh 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 no 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 oh, see that it's so hard to get this stuff out of here all right what we're gonna do here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna bring this up to our horse hopefully and then I'm gonna grab the other iron piece because that's ten thousand dollars just laying on the ground and we're gonna bring that up by hand oh god okay everything's fine and we're gonna bring that up oh you gotta be kidding me I have to jump over this don't make me jump over this everything's gonna go flying uh, uh okay good we're going to bring it up by hand. This way we don't lose it. And then we're going to head back to town with our, our loot over here. We're about to see how good Tron is at carding stuff. Because the problem is if the stuff bounces that much when I'm carrying it, this, this horse loves to go over every rock and bush and log known to mankind. And the slightest little jostling sends stuff flying. If I could have one suggestion for the dev, I think it would be to tone down the insanity of the of the juggling just a little bit. I feel it may be a tad bit excessive. Just just a, just a skosh excessive. How you doing over there, Tron? Are you Yeah, we got to get you on a diet or something. We're going to have to get you in like the slim fast plan because you are taking your sweet ass time. Well, maybe he's not really overweight or anything. Maybe he's just lazy. Is it gonna take a beating? Is it gonna take a beating, Tron? Tell me if a beating needs to come your way. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna beat you. You're so cute. All right, let's go back over here by the forge. This is very rare because as a blacksmith, I don't exactly invite everyone back here. But as my noble steed, I will invite you back here. Do we still have all of our items? We kind of do. God, getting up into this thing is a pain in the ass. Oh, there we go. Don't mind. Yep, I'll just throw it all on the ground. Because that's how we do. So now I have to figure out where... Okay, there's okay. There's an iron piece. I'm gonna... Uh, now that we have just tons and tons of iron over here, we're gonna go ahead and put... Oh, we're gonna smelt some stuff today. We're gonna smelt some stuff today. This is 40 Gs right here. Imagine being a miner and going out and making 40 grand in a couple of minutes. I mean, who wouldn't be a blacksmith? Although, I guess it depends, because if you look at some of these other games, you know what I mean? Like, your old uh, World of Warcrafts and stuff like that, people are like, I just paid 2,000 gold, and, you know, like, just to eat, 
like a, a, a fine meal or something like that is like a couple of silver or something. So when you're throwing down the stacks like that, I'm sure people get impressed. All right, turn that on right there. Now we should have delicious ore. Oh yeah, look at it fill up just like that. Just like that. Hold on, right like that. You got to get that, that visage right there of the iron being poured into the mold. Doesn't that look hot? That looks hot. All right. Come here. Come here, iron chunklet. I also wonder how we're picking this up. We don't have any tongs or anything like that. So sometimes I wonder. There we go. Heated iron ingot over there. All right. So I went to sleep. It is a beautiful new day. I'm going to get rid of this pickaxe because I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess I could just put it on the grip over here. Like I said, if, if people figure out how to buy these things one day, that would be fantastic. Let's get ourselves some grips ready. I like to keep a one-handed grip and the the cross guard prepared as well as the two-handed one. That seems to uh, keep everything quick. And here, I'll give you guys a couple of tips that I have. Just because some people were asking, they were like, Oh my god, there's not enough time to get stuff done. Now it looks like you get about 45 seconds to make something, which is plenty of time. But here's like my, and there's a ton of people that have better tips than me. I'm just giving you the ones I use. So what I do is I wait until I see someone charging. Okay, see that guy who's charging at us? That means he's going to want a weapon. So now we're going to turn on the bellows while he gets here. Because it takes like five, six, seven seconds just for everything to heat up. And then it's going to stay hot for five minutes. So he's going to run up here. And if, and if we don't have something prepared for him. Okay, so he wants a great sword. What's odd is there's a great sword right there, but he doesn't seem to care. Okay. So let's head over here. We're going to make him an iron great sword. So one of these. Now we already have our grip ready. So that's kind of nice. For some reason, one of these went over here. Come on, baby. Don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Did you, did you seriously just do it to me? Okay, you didn't do it to me. All right. That took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but I still think that we may be able to do this. All right, let's do this. One, two, three. I'm not going to change the stats on this. It doesn't do anything for the price, sadly. Um, I don't know why yet. I think it may just be because that's not implemented. Okay, over here. There we go. Oh, of course. Of course it gets stuck inside of the bench. Come on, game. Give me a break. Give me a break, man. We got it. We got it. Nine seconds left and we did it. Wow, that was close. So we made 35 grand from that. And right there, you, you see the grip? Get 14 bucks because that's what it costs, but you get... 1.4 dollars for the parts markup we did get 2100 though for our charisma which is really really nice so that was all the iron that we had well, we have one more piece of iron i guess we got a couple pieces of copper too if the next person wants something that takes three like you could buy more and you could be prepared but one of the things i really want to do is i want to get i want to get three pieces of adelite so that we can have an adelite um pick so we can start getting that as well. And it is clear that the picks can mine everything below it. So he wants a pole arm, which I do have over here. I happen to have a pole arm right here, I do believe. Would you would you mine this one? There we go. Good, good. The other thing that you could do is you can make a pole arm with up to three or as low as one ingot. So that's a really good item to make if like you're stuck. You know what I mean? Like you're like, oh man, I only I only have one ingot or I have a sword blade. But you know what I mean? Like who's gonna buy who's gonna buy this sword? I don't know if the next person's gonna buy a sword. So if you have a blade laying around or something like that, you can make it into a pole arm, which is kind of nice. I think we have someone else that's charging at us. Yeah, we do. So you know what? We have one piece of iron left. So if they want a dagger or a pole arm or something like that, we can actually make that for them and use up that last piece of iron. Okay, so they want a great hammer. So I don't happen to have a great hammer around here. In fact, I don't even think I have enough items. Well, you know what? Let's see if I could do it in time. We'll find out. I don't think I can because it's going to be too much, too much time wasted. But like if you place an order, you grab it, you bring it over here, you smack a do it, you turn this on. Can we get it in time? I don't know. Uh, while it's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and get my grip over here. This way that's ready. Move over here. Okay, now everything's heated. So let's put it down here. It's going to be close. Oh, not iron. We don't want to make out any kind of alloys yet. I don't know if alloys are in the game. I haven't messed with it. We can sure give it a shot though. So we'll put really, really get on there. You know what to do. All right, now over here to blunts. Uh, uh, you want to hit that that mouse right when you see the sparks, because you don't have to wait all the way through. Again, we're not gonna do any stats yet because it doesn't give us anything. Let's go over here, and now 
Yep, four seconds left and we managed to do it. So you do get quite a lot of time, which is nice. So even if even if you're like ill prepared or something like that, you could still pretty much get stuff done. Oh, you know what? I want to test something else. Hold on here. Let's go over here real quick. I want to see if you could melt down items that you made to get the ingots back. So let's go put some firewood in there. I happen to have, where is it at? I happen to have, here we go, an iron blade over here. So now if I throw it in here like that, and we turn this on like that, will it melt down the blade? Uh, the answer is no, it will not melt it down. I tried it both heated and cooled, and sadly it will not melt down any of the blades or anything like that. All right, so alloys, let's try that. I got ourselves a tin and a copper ingot. So let's mess with that and see if we can do anything. Now, remember, before we couldn't really do anything. So I don't know if this is turned on or not. There are patch notes now from the developer, which is kind of nice. That's where I learned about, like, the rain effects and stuff like that. So let's go to blades. And... Uh, no, that doesn't... That's... Usually you would hear a sound or something like that. So I don't think... Yeah, we're getting the sparks, but we're not getting the sound. So nothing there either. Uh, okay, hold on, though. How about the crystals? Do the crystals do anything? Because there should be one right over here. Yep, sure is. So the crystal right over here, does the crystal do anything yet? I wonder. Let's find out. Uh, okay. So, okay, no. So the crystal did not do anything. We did make a, to a tin short blade, but that was all really we managed to do. All right, so it's a brand new day. Let's go around town real quick and see what's changed. Now... We have our neighbor's house, which sells all the weapon supplies, which is pretty cool. Actually, you know what? Here, that fire's still burning? Really? That's interesting. Oh, maybe it's because it'll burn until it finally smelts something. That could totally be it. Now, can you chop trees right in the middle of town like this, I wonder? Let's find out. <laughs> oh, oh, you sure can. Or at least it seems that way. Wow, that's loud. Wow, that is just straight up loud. And... Uh, there we go. There's all your wood logs should you want them. All right, so I'm not allowed to go any farther that way I'm being I'm being stopped by the invisible barrier. I'm also stuck inside of a tree which could be part of the problem It almost looks like there's different ores around out here. I know there's not I think those are just just rocks But it almost looks like it. Oh, you can kind of go around this way, but not really there's a little portal Nothing happens if you go through it quite yet. All right, so the invisible barrier extends right around to this other house here now this house, is this the one, it says uh, like not for sale or something like that. Oh, can I click on the door? Hold on, don't you lie to me. Nope, can't click on it yet. It mentioned something like not for sale. Oh, boxes! Oh, oh, oh no, I can't grab, oh, I can't grab some of them. Oh man, I wish I could keep these though. Oh wow, they're all jacked up. Look at them, there's like boxes inside of boxes and they're, oh, they're glitching. Oh, they're glitching. What is this? Wait, there's an up. There's an upstairs? Hmm. I wonder. We may try a little Hello Neighbor BS in just a moment here. Let me just check this side out. Yeah. See, not for sale yet. So I wonder. Can I glitch through this? No, I can't. I wonder if we'll eventually be able to buy a, second or a secondary shop and, like, do something with that. But first things first. We have a bunch of, like, mobile boxes over here. So I wonder, can can we manipulate these and try and get up into that window real quick? All right, let's see here. I kind of made it a little staggered because I can't... Oh, no. Oh, you fall right through them. Oh, that's too bad. All right, I thought maybe we could get through them, but it looks like you just... Yeah, you fall right through the ones that you can manipulate. All right. Oh, check this out. There's an ore vein over here. What? That's, uh, uh, oh, I didn't know that you could have outdoor ore veins. Hold on, are there more? Because, man, that would be great. Hold on, so there's a tin vein over here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, game. Trying to pull a fast one on me? Oh, what the hell? Oh, God. Oh, can we go down this? Oh, 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 God. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Oh, this is bad. Uh-oh. Oh, balls. Uh-oh. Oh, I've fallen. 
I've fallen and I can't get up. Like, legitimately, I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, no. Well, that almost sucked real bad. So, I, <laughs> I had to uh, Control-Alt-Delete out of the game. It was the only way. Because I, I, I wasn't sure if I saved. If I would get stuck in that position forever, that would be absolutely horrible. Uh, we were on the edge of the world and there was like no way out. Okay. So, there's at least one hidden ore vein back here by this. So that's kind of cool. Now, is it still here? Oh, it's iron now. So every time you load the game, it turns into something new. We got it. We got to mine this. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and hit this right now because I want these iron chunks. Ah, oh, it's all stone. Stop with the stone. There we go. You, yes. Go. No, no, not the stone. I don't want the stone, damn it. Give me the iron. Oh, that was weird. Oh, what happens if I, oh, okay. I guess I can't. There we go. Yes. Yes, more, more, no, no, damn it. So, okay, so this is where I fell down the last time. We're not doing that BS again. So, yeah, don't go over the ledge over here. Don't walk toward the ledge, because if you do, <laughs> look at me, I'm freaking doing it again. Because if you do, you're not gonna be able to get back up. So now these little hillocks over here, can you go down here? Okay, good, you can go down this way, and I think this should be fairly safe, as long as you... Don't go too close. Let's kind of continue to wander around here. Also, it doesn't seem like you can strike the giant stones. I was just messing around and seeing if... Oh, what is this? This looks like something important. Ah, another hidden ore vein. Okay, okay. All right, good. Good. We're finding a couple. There's that lake over there, too, that I have not checked out since the... Yeah, we're not going that way because I know how that goes. That I haven't checked out since back in the day. Before the uh, before the update over there. All right, so we got more rocks over here. So now I think there used to be a crystal Inside of the lake. So let's see if there's anything new and exciting inside over here now Can you go can you go under the water No, You kind of just wade in it. There's definitely a crystal in here though. You could see right there That crystal is still here. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh So slow hold on Grab it. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Hi. Yeah. Oh, you, you like float. I see how it is. All right. I couldn't get up on that shoreline, but I could get up on this shoreline. So, hmm. Hold on a second. Oh, that's the shop. That's the, uh, that's the guy who we can buy items from. You guys were saying that you get auto charged for it if you grab it. What is, what is this? Oh, it's like a tome or something. Hold on here. Can you do anything with this? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I wonder maybe if you bring one of the crystals there or something, if something happened. Remember how we had that fear crystal? And before, if you use the fear crystal, like something would, uh, in the one, that one house, the demonic guy would appear. I wonder if that's still a thing. I wonder if that guy still shows up. Whoa, whoa, crystal. All right, you, you sit over there for right now. Can I not come over here? Nope, sure can't. Um, yeah, you just kind of lay there right now. You, you lay low. Everything's going to be just fine. Old Gray's going to scout ahead over here. This board is actually, actually pretty big. Um, I've been wandering for a long, long time. I think we're coming up to the mine at this point. I'm pretty sure. Like, I think this is the wall that leads to the mine. Now, I haven't gone, what is it? I haven't gone to the right of the mine entrance. So we, we've gone left. But I haven't gone right. All right, so here's the mine entrance. But this time we're going to... Oh, man, I can barely see anything. It's so foggy. Ah, we're going to go this way, though, and see what happens. Because I've never really gone around this side of the map. I don't know if anything could be there. Already we found several ore nodes that are not inside of the mine. And that's actually really good because that's going to give us all the more opportunities to find more and more ore. At first, I was saying to myself, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to mine ore because it's quicker. Well, I mean, if you just want to have fun mining ore and be able to say that, you know, you mined it and you you made something based on the, the ore that you got, you can do it that way. But time-wise, it's probably easier to just buy the stuff and sell it. Hold on. I'm getting uh, blocked by an invisible barrier that way, so I'm just checking stuff over here real quick. I like that these ore nodes are right by these boxes, too. 
Because remember, you can grab the boxes from our neighbor over there. So I'm going to go put a bunch of these in here. Now, from what I've seen, if you could load up on stones, it really helps. Because this way, the ore doesn't go flying all over the friggin' place. I also don't know if the game saved the stone that we had gotten uh, with our horse. I'm going to try and pack this thing full of stone, though, so that the iron doesn't go flying out. Because the iron loves to go flying out. Right? Okay. Get... And there we go. And then another piece of stone over here should do pretty good. Okay. Now we grab this. It's going to go flying. But hopefully the iron will stay inside. Okay, good. The iron stayed inside. Now let's go ahead and bring this back over to our blacksmith shop. And we'll have three more pieces of iron that we can use to make something to sell. No time for BS, boys. Or is there? All right. So now we're over here. Put that right over there. Let's go ahead and grab a piece of wood. We got to chop her up. You boys know how it is. Chop it up nice and smooth. Right like... <laughs> right like that. Go ahead and put the old wood in there. I wonder if we could shuck it in. Uh, no. How about... How about uh, ah, forget it. I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way. It works a lot easier like this. All right. Now, I'm going to put a couple pieces of stone in here. I don't think that you would be able to smelt stone... But I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. All right, now let's put some ore in here. Get that ore in there. There we go. That's one piece of ore. I know there's more. Don't you lie to me. There we go. Oh, look at it. Look at it glisten. Look at it glisten in the light. Okay, and then one more over here. Okay, good. Now, back over here. Turn this on. Okay, now we're definitely getting some melting. We're getting a lot of melting, actually. All right, so what's gonna happen to the stone? Is it still going to be there? Oh, we're getting something right now. We're getting something right now. I think it's probably just going to be regular iron, though. Yeah, see right here, the stone is still 100%, but the iron is gone. So the iron definitely transforms into the ingots, but it doesn't look like stone does anything. While we're doing this, I'm going to grab a piece of stone, and I'm going to put it over here and see if that does anything to it. I think we've got another, yep, we've got another piece of iron right over here that just got done cooling. Or, not cooling, but forming, I should say. Yeah, the stone... Still just hanging out. Um, how about if we put it on this? How about if we put it on the anvil? Does that do anything? Nope, I can't click on it. Alright, no, I can't click on anything there. Alright, I'm not sure yet... What the stone does. We do have... Oh, yeah, we do have several pieces of iron, though. Um, I imagine... I mean, you can use coal for fuel. But I, I can't foresee being able to use stone for fuel. I'm gonna throw it in there though. Yeah, you can see the fire, wow, the fire would last a long time. Actually, with one log, I'm gonna take this log out. We don't even need it. With one log, it lasts a good long time. Stone's still at 100%. Alright, we're gonna do the right thing this time. I'm gonna leave the horse there and now we're gonna take our different items and we're gonna put it, there we go, so this way, instead of having it shipped to us, although having it shipped to you is much, much quicker, we can just do this as well. Alright, so, if I want, you guys were saying, uncommon, uncommon, rare. Huh. That's interesting. Okay. So, if I grab one of these, 141530, and then I take it out, you guys were saying that I had gotten charged for it. If I go back in. Ah! Okay, you do get charged for it. It just takes a second. I gotcha. Okay. All right, so how about if I put... Oh, these are going to go flying. Yeah, see? I freaking knew it. I knew it. I was just checking to see if this crystal did anything when I brought it over here by this tome. I get the feeling that, like, maybe the fear crystal or something. Like, maybe you have to do this at night or something like that. Turn on the turn on the uh, candle. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think is the secret behind this tome over here? I'm very curious if we can do anything with it. All right. Now, we got a bunch of stuff done over here. Let's go over to the sandbox and see if anything new and exciting is happening over there. All right, so here we are in the sandbox. We've got some grips and some heads and stuff like that. First things first. Let's go over to ingots. And is there anything new here? Uh, no, everything looks the same. Okay. How about grips? All right, nope, grips are all looking the same as well. How about guards? Guards are all looking the same. Okay. So everything is the same there. We've got some boxes over here. Anything in them? Uh, nope. Those are all empty. Okay, very good. What the hell is this? What is this? What is little white dots over here? 
This is odd. Can I pickaxe these or anything? No. Look at this. It's like a little... I don't know what this is. Just like a little bridge where you can go. And then there's a wall here. Can I can I hit this wall or anything? Nope, it's just a wall. Now here's all of our here's all of our mining stuff. So you can see this pick cannot do the adelite. It can do the tin and it can do the iron. So what you want or what we're going to want is we're going to want the next level and then it can do coal. Yeah. We're going to want the next level because this way if we come across a uh, an adelite vein We'll be able to utilize that and make a ton of money. As a matter of fact, well, we can't even do that right yet. Let me see. What else is there over here? I'm just checking to see if there's anything new or exciting. All right. For the most part, everything seems to be the same. Now, what we don't have is we don't have the shield boards yet in the, in the regular game, or at least I don't think we do. Maybe we'll have to buy those from the shop guy, but no one's asked for a shield yet either. So that might be a thing. Nothing here is final. Oh, okay, that's just little uh, little disclaimers and stuff like that. All right, so we managed to find some hidden nodes for the, the minerals and stuff like that outside the mine, which is really awesome because going into the mine is a giant pain in the ass and being able to just mine stuff on the outside where I can bring the horse would make things much, much easier. Anyway, guys, hope you're enjoying my little blacksmith shop. If you have any suggestions on things for us to try, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.